Hi guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 Perfect Genetics. I am Landros, and of course, Stefan is fast asleep. I think he was actually worn out. Let me just take a look. Well, he's not too bad now, but he was. Addison and Bailey are at school. They're not too happy because they're hungry, which they'll get taken care of in just a little bit. Carrie's downstairs. She's working on this skill that she needs, which is a xylophone. Um, I believe she's got to work on the peg box next. I think that's what I had her doing. As far as uh, these kids, <laughs> they're fine. They're going to continue to play together. Let's see. All right, Aaron and Dorothy, let's go ahead. Um, can you all play together? Play? No. Do, do you want to play with the abacus? Will that actually do anything for you? Oh no, you wanted to play together, didn't you? <laughs> I love this. All right. Well, if you guys want to play together, just play play with Carrie. Is that Carrie? All right, that is Carrie. All right. I'm sorry. Here I'm sitting there thinking that was Carrie. Ah uh, no, I should have known. She doesn't. She didn't have chair up here. That's okay. They're playing. I think Carrie is okay. Um. I believe, oh look, the kids got it. They got food. Um, they got fed at school. Carrie, let's see. Did you need to play with the abacus? I think you've done this already. No, you haven't. Oh, I don't want to go anywhere. All right, so you play with the abacus. Let's get you working on it. Now, I don't have to master all these skills. I'm doing it just because it gives me something to do with toddlers. But, you know, no, I don't have to do any of it. I can actually just play whatever I want to with them. If I want them to just sit there and just age up without doing anything, that's fine. Ah, uh, let's see, you got to deliver documents. Yeah, Heather, you can go ahead and do that. That's going to happen right after work. Okay, let's get you to play with the abacus. I think you need to do that as well. Oh, man, you guys will just stop it. <laughs> just stop it. I know it's cute, but I'm trying to get something done here. So, <laughs> it's all right. Go ahead and continue. Look at this. Every time I try, you want to play with Carrie. You're going to drive me nuts, aren't you? All right, can you at least finally... Alright, let's see if we get this done. Um, Dorothy, what about you? You're actually working on this. You're fine. How about Stefan? Uh, buddy, you're about to get up. Let's see. I want you to go ahead and get something to eat. Um, but I want you to use your bathroom. Let's, oh, wait. That's not your bathroom. I always go to the wrong one. Let's let you go ahead and use your bathroom. And then I want you to go ahead and take a shower. When you get done, I'm going to have you go downstairs. Uh, there's a couple things I need you to do. And let's see. Go ahead and eat. Um... Mushroom omelet should still be good. Let me look at your skills real quick. Because as far as I know, you have your charisma mastered, which is great. Do we have anything else? No. How's your athletic? It's decent. Could be better. Um, your social networking is up a little bit. Your writing is almost done. You just about mastered it, but not quite. I do have some money. It's not that bad. It's not a whole lot, but I have some. I'm going to let you go ahead and go get the mail. You need to pay the bills. And we need to go ahead and see if there's any any gifts from friends real quick. Once we get that done, I have something else I really want you to work on. Now, let me make sure that the kids have signed up for something. Let's sign up for... Oh, you already did. Bailey, did you? I think you did. Nope, you already did. Okay, so you're doing all the, well, what you got to do. And Carrie's got two days until she ages up. Oh, we're going to get zombies tonight because I have my um, full moon cycle back on. So in an attempt to actually correct that and not have any issues with all the screaming and the aggravation from the zombies we're going to go ahead and get our pea shooter out and we'll put it right there we can take care of them hopefully when they show up on our lawn and we don't have to worry about their craziness okay Stefan's actually ready to go I am ready to start traveling with this guy and get his lifetime wish started he's about two days away from becoming an adult and so that means I really got to push him because I can't keep aging, uh, rolling his age back anymore He's already had his perfect air, so time now is not going to stop for him. He's going to continue on, and so I cannot keep rolling his age back for in any way, shape, or form. So if I want to work on that lifetime wish, i got to do it. He's got to go through six different tombs in all the different countries. Now, you guys know me, and you know I love world adventures, so I can do that. Um, it won't be a problem at all. And so I figure what we'll do is we'll go ahead and get him started. I didn't want to actually leave until somebody came home. Um... I'm waiting on the kids to come home because I really want him to interview Bailey. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen right away. Uh, then Heather, she's going to be coming home in a little bit after she does this. And I want the motorcycle back because I'm not going over there without it. So in fact, let's go ahead. Once she actually stops, let's give the motorcycle to Stefan. That way we know that we don't have to worry about losing that. I hate going over to those countries and not having it. It's really frustrating. Okay, you see the story progression, just giving you a whole bunch of information. We got a letter from Constant Shelley. Okay. And Charisma, let's see. She got a raise of $1 an hour. 
Uh, that's pretty pathetic. That's <laughs> not bad. I mean, it's not good. Okay. This is for the Hybrid Baby Challenge, which I'm not doing right now. Hannah, that's Aurora Skies. All right, here we go from Cast Plays. This is for Stefan in Riverview. I feel bad for Odin. I took Heather too. <laughs> I know, poor Odin. But, you know, if you look at his traits, unless you actually go in there and change it, you can't really mess with it. Okay, we got the Playground Telescope. Okay, can I send anything back? Not until another three hours. I'm not probably going to be playing. Hybrid Baby, not doing today. Three Little Sims, I would like to get to it today, but I doubt it. It's, two, it's about four episodes away. No, three LPs away. I'm not quite sure I'm going to get there. From Seriously Shells, Shelbs, it says, love the LPs. Gift goes to anyone you want. All right, these guys are going to take it. And we got Bubble Bath, so thank you so much for that. From Rebecca M 94 this is for any of your challenges. All right, this is going to work. What is it? Potent Bliss. Okay, moving straight on up. Um, from Rainy Day, message from the game. We got a Perma Palm. Um, let's see. From Katie Girl 365 this is a message from the game. Please be a brain enhancing machine. No, but it's 500 simoleons. That's <laughs> okay. I'll take either one. Okay, from D Hockless, message from the game. Please be a brain enhancing machine. No, <laughs> this is a sketchbook and an art easel. All right, you guys, I guess you're probably figuring out what I really like. Either that or a duck. I'll take a duck. All right, from Peach Lover 18 this is for any family that needs it the most. Ever since I started sending you gifts, I have been getting many friend requests. Thanks. <laughs> you're quite welcome, and I hope you're getting a lot of good gifts back as well. Okay, we just got a television, which uh, I don't think they have any TVs upstairs, so thank you very much for that. From Peach Lover again, this is for the family that needs the most. I hope it's not a painting or a fern. Uh, you've been getting a lot of them. <laughs> oh, yeah, that and lamps. I get a lot of those. Speaking of which, I also get a lot of art easels. <laughs> I don't know why, but I get the same things over and over. Okay, so from a Broadback 1998. Hello, cat. Are you okay? Uh, yeah, I put the medicine back in his ears. It's, it flared up again, so <laughs> he's going to be upset with me. Broadback 1998. Got a smiley face, and we also got... Oh, we got a stereo. Very good. Now, I just played Immortal Dynasty not too long ago, about two episodes ago, so I can't do this one right now, and it's going to be a long time till I get back to it, so I hope it's still there. I doubt it will be. All right, so from Broadback again, this is a message from the game. I'll take it here. Okay, we got the floor lamp. Of course, you knew I was going to get one of those. Okay, and that's again for Cassidy, so I can't do it. I hate that. I hate that you missed it. Hybrid Baby is not coming up. Guys, if you really want to catch on my gifts, on my YouTube channel, look at the About page. It tells you exactly what I'm recording. It tells you when I'm recording it, uh, about you know what time I'll start, and I record them in the order that I post them. So, if you if you aren't sure, look at that. On the, I try to update it either late in the evening for the next day or early in the morning. Um, and that's of course Eastern time. But I like to go ahead and update that so you guys will see it and know what I'm going to be doing so you can send your gifts accordingly. That way you don't get in that situation where we're stuck with the gift that I'm not going to get to the LP for a while. Okay, from Unicorn919 or 1919. I was playing and realized one of the Sims had dark purple hair. I took this as a sign to send Ste Steve, uh, you said Stephen, but it's Stephen a gift. All right. And you send us 250 simoleons. That's fine with me. Okay. And that's to Alessa. I just played it. But you know what? I actually, you just sent this seven minutes ago and I was already done. In fact, I was remodeling their house and actually I had to stop. I had to go change cat litter. <laughs> that was the fun part of my night. All right. So let's see. We got 303. That's fine. Um, why don't you go ahead and just do some social networking. Let's do a, let's browse, let's stream some video. Um, I know it's raining. And let's go ahead and blog a little bit. We're just working on that skill just a little bit. Not much. Don't have a whole lot to do. I'm mainly waiting for her to get home because once she's home, I got things to go do. Let's see what she want to do. Change jobs? You're not changing jobs. You might think you are, but you're not. You want to go to China too? Well, I can't take you because somebody's got to stay home with the toddlers. I don't think you can go. I think they have to actually have somebody. All right, let's see. What is this? Phone junkie? Let me stop for a moment. With all these things, does Bailey, has Bailey gotten home yet? No, he's still doing the after-school activity. What is this thing worth? Is it really something I need to concentrate on? 350 I mean, that's worth a lot. I want that one. That's 600 and he's going to do it over there. Okay. I'm canceling out. We're not doing any of this because we're getting ready to travel. So, yeah, all these things will come back again. I'm not going to worry about it. Buy a treehouse? I would like to have a treehouse. They need something out there, don't they? Hmm. Let's do it after we travel. Let's do that when we come back. So I'm not going to actually lock it in. 
uh, I don't really care. So let's go ahead, get him out of here, because i got to get going on this lifetime reward. Otherwise, it's going to turn around, and I'm not going to have any time, and I'm going to be a little upset. He has prepared Traveler already. Come on, I told, told you to go. Look at that. See, he dislikes children, but he went right over there to play with her, didn't he? All right, so, yeah, I think he's confused. He really does like kids, so he wouldn't have had this many if he didn't like them. Anyway, we'll head on over to China. We'll get these adventures started. I can't take... Um, Anybody, I could take the rest of them. Let's see. If I try to take everybody, will they all go? Well, if they can't, can they all go? I've never tried. That's the thing. Um, do I want to do it? <laughs> I'm just like, do I want to? No, I actually, I really just want to concentrate on his adventures. So we'll let the we'll let the family stay behind. Stefan's going to go over there. Let's just work with him for a little bit. This is going to kind of be for those of you who wanted to see some world adventures. Um, I would like to redo my world adventures LP, but you know, we'll take him over there and just get something started. It won't be long because we only have I think six days, and so we'll just do some of the China adventures and come on back. Um, I just figured there'll be something a little bit different. You knew we were going to have to do it eventually. Once all the kids are eligible to travel, then I think I'll bring them all. And then they can all just be at the um, at the base camp doing whatever they want to do. But, all right, here in the badge. That'll be nice. Okay, your execution. Uh, okay, we missed that. <laughs> all right, I'll be back in a minute when we're arriving in China. All right, so here we are. We are now arriving in China. Now, what you're going to notice is coming over here with a high charisma skill. Um, it's going to be a big advantage for Stefan. So if you are playing World Adventures and you don't know this already, work on that charisma skill early before you start traveling. It makes a big difference once you get here. Um, I was going to bring the brain enhancing machine with us, but I thought, no, we'll have a more, we'll have other trips as well. Now it wants me to run story progression here, but I'm going to say no. But I guarantee you, it's still going to run somehow or another. That's fine with me. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and the town's assigning people. We're going to check for an adventure, and I know which one we're going to get. And it's fine with me. I don't mind because it's an easy one. But we're going to seek adventure. Let's go ahead and report in. We got our points, which is great. Now, I'm not going to actually go through and read all the different adventures to you because, like I said, I am planning to actually redo my World Adventures LP, and I'm hoping to get that started pretty soon. I really enjoy World Adventures, and... I'm trying to figure out which character I want to go with. If I want to start a new character, if I want to bring one back from another LP, I've just kind of been going back and forth. See, now I get no sound in the motorcycle. Once you leave one world and come to the other, that second world, I won't get any sound of it. Um, and when we go back, we should get the sound back. Or if I close out of this one and then start the game again, then I'll probably get the sound here. But it's weird. It's a weird glitch, and I wish something would happen that they would fix it, but I don't think it's a high priority for them. All right, they're gonna go over there. We gotta go retrieve the ancient relic, which is actually in the Forbidden City. And I'm gonna just head on down to the halls of the Lost Army. It's a pretty simple one. This is the easiest tomb I think in all the three countries. Uh, you can start in any country when you want to go to, but to me, I always start in China because it just makes the most sense. It's the cheapest, and you also need some of the skills there to do in all the different countries. So. This is where I go. Now, I don't have memories turned on. For some reason, it's still giving me that little smiley face, but maybe it's because he got a wish. I don't know. Let's see, what does he want to do? He wants to learn cooking, doesn't he? I thought he already knew how to cook. <laughs> Has he just lost his mind? I guess he doesn't know. I thought I made him a... Or maybe I made him a natural cook. No, I didn't, because I couldn't choose traits. That's right. Uh, yeah, that's why I had this thing, because I probably wouldn't have given him a World Adventures lifetime wish, simply because he doesn't need it. But I figure, you know, this is something you got to do. The part of the rules of the game says everything has to be random. So you just got to do what you got to do. And I don't remember if it said you had to get their lifetime wish accomplished. I kind of thought you did. I mean, it would make sense that you don't have to worry about everybody else. But yeah, you do have to worry about your, um, your founder and your heirs. I mean, that, to me, that makes sense. I don't know if it makes sense to you guys. So this one's not as bad. It's not the, it's not the one I normally go for when I do World Adventures, but it's okay. Okay, now I could read that little plaque, but I know what it says. It's pretty worthless to us right now, so I'm not going to bother. It's just going to tell us to get a sleeping bag, tent, and some dried food. And shower in a can. So, Or not a sleeping bag, but shower in a can. All right, go through that door, and let's go ahead and get this thing started. Easy old tomb. I can do this one practically in my sleep. Um, there's not a whole lot to it. No danger in this one. In fact, you don't get any of the dangerous tombs for a while. So, when I first started and I first got World Adventures, I was terrified. I thought I was going to run into a tomb every time I opened a door. Or run into a uh, mummy. And once I realized that you don't get anything for a while, it's pretty easy. 
All right, let's go ahead and go through this one. Now, you'll see right here, you see how I've got this little bar? Let me go ahead and stop that for a minute. Let me stop him because I don't want to lose time. What I need to do is I need to turn this off, and I believe it's under Master Controller. No, it, uh, maybe it is. Let me just go in here. Where's NRAS? And if you have this Master Controller in here and you're getting that message, you need to go into, I believe it is, nope, maybe it is Story Progression. Let's see. It's one of the two. Uh, I can tell it once I see it. Okay, you want to go into, I believe it is Town Options? I'm not quite sure. I have to do this several times until I figure it out. Um, nope, it's under General Options. One of the two. I just I go back and forth and I have to look. It's under Options, Lots, and you want to take this Show Menu Options and make sure it's false. Say OK. Say OK. And then as you can see now, your cursor is back so you don't get that little asterisk because you need that asterisk in World Adventures in order to know what you're doing and to know if there's something there. So to me, it's like, I when I first started playing with the mods, I thought, I can't play with them anymore because I can't do World Adventures. But it's really simple to fix that. You just got to know what you're looking at. There's so many things that that thing does, and I don't know half of them, but I do know that one. Because I play this too many times. <laughs> I play it a lot. Alright, go ahead and go through the store. But yeah, if you didn't have it, you need to actually see where the hidden doors are. And that thing just messes you up big time. Okay, let's go ahead and get this thing pushed out of our way. Um, I used to push it far. I really think you only have to push it one. Because he can walk around it once he gets it pushed out a little bit. No, you got to push it at least one more. All right, so I guess you do have to push far. So just push it again, and you should be fine. Okay, go over here. Let's clear this rubble. I love this music. If you play it late at night, and you've got it, um, you got the sound up, it'll scare you every once in a while. Now he'll do this, and more than likely he'll scratch his butt just because he has to. <laughs> it's funny. I laugh every time he does it. You gonna do it? <laughs> there you go. It's just my favorite little thing over here. Every time he does it, I'm like, you idiot. Okay, so we're gonna actually, you need to be watching your um, little menu here because it'll tell you basically what's coming up. Like, find a hidden door and fully explore a tomb. Well, we'll definitely do that. But there is a hidden door here. So let's go ahead and let's stand on this. And this is where it's gonna find it for us. There's actually two. There's that one, and then this little thing over here came available as well. I'm going to go ahead and inspect it. And then I'm going to go ahead and open up all these chests. It's the only thing he has to do in this room. Now, he's not brave, so the problem is if he gets bugs on his arm, he'll actually have a time limit that he won't be able to do anything. He won't want to get around any kind of traps or anything. That's why when I do World Adventures, my character will always be brave because he'll just brush those bugs off and keep going. You can spend a lot of time waiting on them to do things, and I don't like that. All right, I have no idea what memories you're getting. All right, that looks like something that's going to give us some good money. I have no idea what it was. It was the Suncut Jade, worth 845 Yeah, you can do World Adventures and never get a job and do quite well. Um, let's see, I think that's just gold coins. Those are worthless. <laughs> they, well, they're not. I mean, they really are worth something, but after a while, you get so many that if you watch my original World Adventures LP, it kind of became a joke, and I kept laughing about it towards the end. It's like, oh, great, more ancient coins, just what we were looking for. So, Because we did. We had so many, and I couldn't get rid of them. But, you know, that's okay. All right, now you're going to see everything in this tomb of basically... You know, the different kinds of tombs or traps that you're going to find. Not all of them, but you see basically the, the setup of how to do things. So if you don't know how to do it, this is just kind of your training one. And like I said, I've done it so many times that I don't really have to think about it. I just do it by, once I see it, I know exactly where to click and where to go. Um, some of the other ones I don't. All right, so he's actually on the bottom. He's searching for something. He's scanning the area. And let's see what he does. He's going to swim through the tunnel. Okay, the thing we need is actually a key that's right here in, in this little box, and then he's going to go ahead and explore. Now, he does not have a multi-tab, does he? Oh, yeah, he does. You know what, before you actually do that, let's go ahead and get you, let's get you listening to something. Uh, the only thing I really want you to listen to is, how about Logic? You can actually pass something down. And the funny thing is, you can actually listen to Logic, and you can explore dive, these um, dive wells at the same time, and you do not have to stop. Um, if I remember, I will actually put that thing on there and I'll do it. I like to actually have them listen to Tabcast while they're going through the tombs because I'm while they're searching they're learning. So it's just something different for me that I like to do. 
I don't remember all the time. Sometimes I forget, but it's not bad. Okay, and logic is easy because you just have to sit there and listen to it. All right, he's doing the same thing. He's going to actually have to swim through this tunnel again. And you just kind of have to wait. You could speed him up, but it comes over pretty quick. All right, buddy. Let's get going. This is our last room, and we will be finished. Now, some tombs, when you get to the end, there's still one more, like, hidden room or hidden spot. Not in this one. This one, basically, when you get to the end, you really are at the end. So, like I said, it is the basic one. It's the one that you just, you should always start with. Alright, now, of course, you see which one we want. But I start right here. I start here. I go here. And we're going to go ahead and stand on that thing when we're done. Okay. See what good stuff we got. And, of course, now we're going to look for more things here. We got these two wishes taken care of. Um, what is this? Newspaper? Why do you keep having the newspaper? I don't know what you're doing. All right, now that's something we needed. And now we've got the first of the Chinese tomb collection. There's nine of them, and we're only going to go for just a few. We're not going for all of them. In my World of Interest LP, I made a big point of trying to be as thorough as I could, and I went for everything. And I got almost everything. There was a couple of things I couldn't get, but... Uh, like I said, when I redo it, we're gonna go. We're gonna do every single pit. We're not gonna miss anything. <laughs> That's the goal. All right, let's go ahead and get you out of there. Now that you got your door open, you can go ahead and report that in. Just deliver the relic, and you are done. So that would actually count as tomb number one of the first of the six tombs. So I, it doesn't actually tell us anything here as far as you know which one we got, but you do have over here under opportunities. You have an adventure journal. You can go ahead and launch that journal. Look over here at China. Let's see. Actually, no, it's the tomb stats. And it'll tell you exactly how many tombs you have discovered, I believe. It should tell you that. Uh, maybe not. Don't, don't make me a liar. <laughs> there we go. So we've got uh, tombs explored in China, one. So you got to get six in each. So it's going to take us a while. We're going to be doing a bunch of traveling in between. I think it's kind of nice to do this in this perfect genetics challenge when we've got so many kids. It gives us a break. So, especially for the fact if you guys are following any of my other LPs like Hybrid Baby or, um, oh goodness, what's the other one that I'm having a lot of kids in? I forgot. <laughs> I just feel like I'm having kids. Oh, Aurora Skies. If you're watching any of those and you see that I'm having tons of children, well, this just gives me a chance to take a break, do something a little different, and um, I think it's fun. It's something different for, um, for a change of pace. Okay, now we got to go back to the same place. He will run forever. Um, I don't know where she is, but the routing on this thing is hysterical. I think it's funny how it makes him run to different places. This, I believe, is the house. Is that the house I buy? It's either this one or the one on the other side. It's my uh, vacation home I normally go to because I modify it. I had a game I was playing, and um, we bought that house. It was pretty fun. I liked it, but they were so rich. I was like, I'm bored with them. <laughs> I still have it. I still play it every once in a while, but I haven't really done much with them. So... I had some issues with the mother. She was trying to do some traveling with Simport, and that was messing up big time. It was just every time she'd come back, she wouldn't register as being on the lot. Um, they would always say, "You need a lot on the, uh, need somebody on the lot," and she just didn't register as his wife or somebody he could do anything with. So it drove me nuts. But every time, it was just because of Simport. All right, this is the martial arts academy, which we could go ahead and learn martial arts. I'm surprised he didn't get that wish, but. This will just be the last part of this challenge, or this adventure, and we can go ahead and do whatever we got to do. He's got plenty of energy, so I don't really have to worry too much. This must be, yeah, that's who we're going after. All right. Man, you can see that purple hair now. <laughs> it just, like, it wasn't really showing up that much before. All right, so we got 500 for that, and we can go ahead and head on back. Since I didn't get any messages right here of wanting to learn martial arts, I'm not going to bother with it right now. I'm just going to send him on back over. He got his visa level up to one. Now, you might get a full uh, visa level of three by the time you end getting the six tombs because not every adventure is going to be a tomb. Um, you might actually have to do a few of these little run around town adventures, which I hope not, but I kind of get the idea that we will. And if that's the case, so be it. But there's one that's coming up, and I don't know if it will actually count towards a full tomb because you don't really fully explore it. You just get to the first part of it. I'm hoping it will register, but it may not. You may have to wait until you come back and do the, le the second half, and that takes a while to get to. So it can take you a while. That's why I really didn't want to wait too, many time, uh, too much time before we started with uh, getting his lifetime wishes done. Otherwise, we're going to be um, 
trying to play beat the clock and I always hate that I hate trying to actually get it done like I said since I can't change his age anymore I've got to keep him on a regular um, aging process I gotta do what I gotta do okay I don't want him to go all the way home I want him just to get to the adventure board so let's go ahead and before you do that let's just stop you right about here yeah and then go ahead and check for another adventure let's see what we got hopefully it'll be something good <laughs> there's one I really like but I don't know if it'll come now you can cycle through and see what's available okay this one's actually pretty good it's a dragon cave and I, it'll come back up in just a minute but I'm gonna go ahead and say no and I'm gonna see what else is available just to see if one that I like is coming it may be there it may not um you know I think that's the one with the red assassin bugs <laughs> oh, it starts off that way I don't know, check for another one Let's see what we got see they're all pretty good all of these are actually decent ones and they all lead to something so let's go back I'm gonna try to get that first one again unless a certain one shows up man see I'm getting some good ones come on confounded boulder <laughs> that's the one I want uh, now we're gonna take you there stranger okay so we'll take this one and let's just go ahead and we need to go get some stuff in town before we take down that adventure so let's go ahead head on down to the market and when he's he's gonna be on his way I'm gonna go ahead and turn him loose and I'm gonna let him come right over here and we're gonna purchase a few things we got plenty of money um, well not that much but we got enough that we can do what we need to do and there is a couple of things I want to get I want to buy some stuff from the regular merchant I want to go to the relic merchant and I also want to go to the bookstore there's just a few things I need to grab these guys are here 24 hours a day so you never have to worry if you need to come over and do something it doesn't matter if it's four o'clock in the morning you just head on over you can get everything you need done and he's here already he doesn't know where he's going <laughs> that's okay but um it's nice because you don't have to worry about them ever being there the nice thing is once he actually goes over here and he introduces himself um so before he does that why don't we try this real quick why don't you just go over here and introduce yourself first just do a charming introduction and let's see if you actually um, bump up your relationship pretty quick because you're gonna need to know these people well when you actually get those requests to come over and convince them to do things which that will happen believe it or not let's see how are we gonna do this well they got a little bit of a bump not much okay eventually he'll get uh, he'll get some of those challenge opportunities done some of those um, maxing out that skill and he'll do better. Yeah, so he didn't do as much as I had hoped, but he did okay. Okay, enough with your charming introduction. <laughs> enough, enough, enough. All right, so as you can see, he actually jumped our, all the way up to friend. So, yeah, you got to love having that uh, charisma skill up. It makes a huge difference. You just walk in, you make friends immediately. So it will make convincing him of people very simple for us. Okay, I want to go ahead and get some shower in a can. I don't care how many. Um, it doesn't matter to me which tent we get. There's a better one that comes from the special merchant. So let's just start with the cheap one. I did not get him a sleeping bag, which I meant to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get the incense holder, which I always like. Uh, as far as the rest, we're going to get the training dummy and the board breaker, and I want the chest. Um, those are basically the only things I really go after. We could get some of the high quality dried food, but what I'd like to do is hold off. He's got a little bit of just, I think he's got regular, but um, if we hold off and get the, <laughs> the stuff from the special merchant eventually, we'll get better stuff. Okay, you need to go down here. No, buddy, I need you to actually stop doing what you're doing. Let's go down and let's buy some, st actually, no, let's introduce ourselves. I just want to make friends with these people before we do anything else. And um, this is the actual relic merchant. So he'll have some things that we might need. It'll save us the trouble of running around town. Um, it's a good idea to check this place every day. I used to not do it. Uh, even when I was doing my World Adventures LP, I really didn't do it very often. Uh, and in fact, I don't even know if I did it at all unless I had to. But I've kind of gotten into it now where I check them just about once a day and see what's available. Come on, guys. You're going to do this all day? All right. You can't figure out what to do. Do your charming introduction. <laughs> Turn around, buddy. <laughs> Turn around. All right. Oh, he's attracted to you. <laughs> he doesn't know you got five kids at home. At least five. <laughs> Maybe you got more. I can't remember. can't remember how many we got. All right. 
Who is this guy? Ho Sun Kim. Yeah, I'm looking for somebody for my Midnight Sun girl, and I gotta look at these people. Um, he may not have been a bad choice for her. I don't know. I can't tell how old he is. I really can't. Ah, All right, well, <laughs> may have to look into that guy for, um, for me seeing Midnight Sun. She's kind of in a dilemma right now, trying to pick a husband. All right. Now, the only thing I'm looking for is stuff that I know that it's going to come up that's going to ask me to go around town finding. Uh, China's huge, and I kind of like to know that I've got stuff in the inventory that I can use. Um, the geode, I don't really never, I don't really ever use it. Let's see. Jade, there is that one for Jade. I'm going to go ahead and grab it. It's $207. I know it's a lot. I know we get a, um, a request for Mercury. Um, I'm going to get it because I know we can put it on consignment even if we don't use it and make more money than what it's worth. The Heart Keystone, I'm taking it. You might need it eventually. So just go ahead and grab it. Um, really what I was looking for, I didn't find. But that's okay. Now, is he hungry? No, he's not hungry at all. Let's go over here and talk to this guy. Let's do a charming introduction to Lee Wan. All right, Lee Wan, he's actually in the running for my Midnight Sun Girl. So he could actually end up being her husband. I don't know. He's kind of got a weird look to him when you get up close. He really does. He's a very strange looking man. Of course, you know, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't, doesn't change. Come on, buddy. Get out of here and be nice because... Stefan's already made two friends. Skeep a toonie, brah. Weebs are gonk. Yeah, I like to do this just so that I have that taken care of. Um, has he got enough points for what I want? Oh, yeah, he's got some points. I think I needed about 10,000. In just a minute, I'm going to check something. Let's see, what did you want to do? You want to buy something worth at least 500? We're about to do that, I think. Oh, mm. Okay. As you can see, we now became friends, so... Ah, that hurt. <laughs> that wasn't good. Alright, well... Tell him to get over there and you want to buy some stuff. <laughs> He's an idiot. <laughs> get back there and sell us something. That old woman, I don't know what she's doing, but she's just running back and forth. Now, the only thing I'm really picking up is a couple of the recipes, because there may be somebody that comes up that needs that as their lifetime wish, and we may not want to have to travel. So I figure, let's just go over here, we'll grab them. They're not that expensive. That'll take care of the 525 or the 500 that we needed. I can buy fishing books if I really wanted to, but, you know, I don't think they're actually going to need those. So we're just going to buy those. It did not count, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, all right, so let me go ahead and see if we got enough points for what I want. For Steel Bladder, that's the one I'm looking for. I believe it's 10,000 points, and that is what we're going to use. So go ahead and purchase that. And I think what we'll do is we will just go ahead and head on back to the base camp. It's only 10 o'clock at night, and not enough time to really do anything else. We can't really go explore. Well, you know what? We could go to the Dragon's Cave, and we can get started. So let's do that. Let's just go ahead and head on over. Um, he can sleep in the actual tomb. You want to have three rich friends? Well, if we were at home, I'd say, yeah, you could do that. But I'm not really concerned about that right now. So I'm going to say that mm, probably not going to happen. I'd rather worry about some things that come with, uh, with the adventures. So I'm not going to be buying anything else at the market, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Probably not going to get a chance to do any um, cooking here either. We might do the martial arts. I'm not 100% sure, but I bought the stuff so I can do it at home. That gives him something to practice on. Whoa, buddy. Don't leave me. All right, so now this thing takes forever. It's this long hill. You can kind of take a look at it, and you can see how it just winds up. But I think the Dragon's Maw is one of the more impressive tombs right here. Just the outside, just the look of it is just really cool. So, I don't know. It's pretty creepy the way it looks at night, or this. I guess you'd call this twilight, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's getting to be nighttime. But it's a really interesting, interesting looking tomb. Has some nice uh, animation as well, which I will not actually ruin. I will let him get up here and do it. He's just going right up here into the mouth, which is the maw. And he's going to go ahead and inspect this door real quick. Hopefully he won't go too far. Okay, there he goes. And as you can see, this is it. This used to be the, um, the thumbnail for my World Adventures LP, actually. All right, go ahead, and you can see how it just gives a little breath coming out. If you get too close, it ruins the illusion because you kind of see it, it goes through it, and you can see the behind it. 
but I always like to stay back so I can see what he's doing and of course he'll finally find a way to trigger this and get us in here are you done yet no he's not frozen I can see him still moving alright so there we go and then of course I just tried to lock in on him now that he's opened it up for us we can head on in and we'll go on down these stairs which for the longest time I was like what do you do what do you do <laughs> there's nowhere to go I didn't realize there were some stairs right there <laughs> so yeah you can go down these stairs and we'll get into the next tomb and he's too tired to really do anything so what I'll do what I think I'm gonna do is gonna go ahead and pop out the tent real quick which we just bought let's see buddy stop for a minute let's put that right there and then he can just go ahead and go to sleep uh, the one nice thing is once you're on a tomb lot, your hunger your hunger will actually still go down, but your bladder will not go down as much. Now, of course, he has still bladder now, so it's not going to matter. All right, I'll be back in a minute when he's up and ready to get going. All right, he's finally ready to get up, and uh, things are actually pretty decent. Let's go ahead and put this back in your inventory, and we're going to go ahead and go through this door. And we'll get this thing started. There's not a, not a whole lot that we can do here. There is quite a bit, but it's not, it's not going to be the full tomb. So... We'll look through it. Let's see. He wants to go see, I believe, the Terracotta Army. We're probably not going to get to that. We're not going to call him. But we are going to go over here, and we're going to inspect this wall. This is a lifetime wish to fully explore a tomb. I was kind of hoping he was going to get the Find a Hidden Door one, because normally it will show you. Uh, but it didn't. Let's see, how long do we have till the full moon? Five days. We'll be gone by then, hopefully. We don't have to worry about it. Now hopefully there will be something behind here and I'm hoping it'll be a really good treasure. You can get really lucky and get one of the um, the collectibles, but sometimes you can just get gold coins with, or ancient coins and <laughs> I just, like I said, I think it's silly because you get so many of them over the course of your adventures, it doesn't matter. Oh, looks like we got lucky because that one is the vase that we want. I believe that's one of the collections. You'll hear the certain music if it is. I'm hoping it is. Nope, that's just a regular one. It was just a regular relic. Oh, well. I was kind of hoping it was going to be one of the special Chinese vases because they're actually worth a lot. And it's in your collection journal. Okay, here we go. We now can actually go turn things in, but there's still more to do in this tomb. So we're going to go ahead and just do everything we can while we're here. We've got this nice little gem. Let's just pick it up. Go ahead and get the money bag. Um, I'm going to have him just go ahead and pull this thing out. And then he's going to try to stand on these stairs. So... Lots to do here. The actual tomb, the really good part, the fun part of it, you actually enter it from here, but we can't get here. I believe you got to go over to France before you're actually able to come back and go through that tomb. So it'll be a while till we can get to it. And I'm hoping that we do get it eventually because it's, like I said, this is probably one of the more fun tombs there is. Um, there's mummies in here. There's a lot, but you won't see them in this time because this is all the beginning stages. You're still, you're still basically learning your tombs and learning how to do your adventures. So you're not going to get anything that dangerous. But when you get there, it is fun. There's one in Egypt I just love, and I I hope we get to do it pretty quick, but you know, you got to have the high martial arts skill and all that before you can really do it and be successful at it. All right, what did we get? See, gold coins. <laughs> I don't need gold coins. Actually, right now I do, because we need to buy some stuff. We'll go stand on this one back here behind, and um, I could roll the walls up, and you could see what's about to happen. You're going to see it anyway, so... Um, but he's just going to discover something, and it'll show you exactly where it is. Sometimes the animation does not actually match. So like this right here, you don't know exactly where it's supposed to be. But it's these little guys right here that just opened up. And just expose them so he can actually find something inside. You could report in at this point if you want. But the problem is, you're going to be passing up quite a bit of stuff that you could be uh, getting. Uh, let's see, he wants to find a hidden door. So that tells you there's something else here. And what it is, we've got to go back over here and we've got to pull this guy out. You only have to really pull him out once, or one spot. And, um, yeah, I hate to actually leave without getting everything I can get out of a tomb. So, I used to not know that this was here. And so I would just get to that point, turn around, go back, and I was like, I'm ready. And did not realize I was leaving quite a bit left. Okay, so you can see that we got a lot... Yeah, there's my timer, but I'm going to go ahead and finish this tomb, so we may go a little bit late tonight, guys. I do apologize. Um, let's see. You can see right here, there is a door. <laughs> because this is opened up, you, it's not really hidden, but it actually it is. And then I'm going to go ahead and have him inspect this one once he gets to the other side. And that'll take care of that one wish. I don't think the fully explore tomb option will go away because we're not going to fully explore. 
but we'll try. And I do want him to go ahead and collect whatever he can. I mean, just because we have a lot doesn't mean I'm not going to um, go ahead and pick it all up. So it doesn't matter. To me, it's like treasure is treasure. All right, I'm just going to watch and see if anything else pops up. I don't think anything will. But sometimes you'll get the opportunity to sleep in a tomb, and you know, we just did that. I was kind of hoping it would show up since he was so tired, but it didn't. You never know. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Alright, open that door, buddy. We gotta go. <laughs> I got things to do. We got babies to go home and take care of. <laughs> Actually, we don't. We're kind of taking a break from the children, which is nice. Now, I have no idea what Carrie's going to want to do as far as her lifetime wish. I can't really influence her. I mean, I know some of you have said, make her a singer because of, you know, Carrie Underwood. But, um, since I really can't influence any of that, I have to do everything random, except for the dislikes children. Uh, we'll just have to see what she gets, and <laughs> it'll be fun. I think that's what makes the game fun, is always dealing with the random stuff that, you know, you, just, you have no control over it. Yeah, sometimes it is fun to actually truly have control if you're trying to actually mold them and have them do certain things. But for this challenge, I think it's fun that you don't. Um, all right, so we got a lot of stuff in here. This is a pretty, not really a lengthy tomb. There's not a whole lot left to it. I mean, there is, but it's it's just a lot of digging and a lot of you know breaking up rubble and whatnot. So I'm gonna speed him through this. Um, nothing too great, but. Of course, there's nothing here, but you know, once you actually do this, he's going to unlock the next way to get to the next room, which is pretty simple. And it just takes him a while. We got 514 ancient coins. See, now this is the problem. Now you watch. Let me see if he gets that moodlet of being scared. Yep, for 36 minutes, he won't do anything. Uh, he'll actually do this again because I told him to, but um, you got to be careful because sometimes he won't touch things that you need him to do. And it gets very frustrating. All right, let's go ahead and let's open this up. Always look on this table because something will show up, and that's actually one of these really cool relics, I think, that um, is part of a collection. It's always different, so you never know which one you're going to get when you go in here. So sometimes it's just a gem, sometimes it's a vase. It can be anything. Okay, and there's really nothing else I need except if I want to sit down and read books, I could, but this is the door I want. And you can tell there's something there because they got the bookcases pulled out. So it's they're trying to make it a little bit obvious, but not too obvious. So, yeah, it's fine. I think it's funny. All right, go ahead and speed this up. Let's see, you want to actually find more relics? All right, well, trust me, we're going to find quite a bit. All right, let's go ahead and go down these stairs. You can't see them. You actually just have to click on the edge, and then you can see them once he gets a little bit closer. All right, now there are some gold coins here, and that's basically all there is in this big old empty room except this door, which we're going to go ahead and go on through. Um, yeah, I used to sit there and I'd go all the way around the walls thinking, oh, there's something here. There's not. There's nothing there. Would have been nice if they had something, but then you come to this one, and mostly you're going to get gold coins or ancient coins. I always call them gold coins. They're really supposed to be ancient coins. All right. Yeah, that music, the music's so om ominous. Let's see, making sure. I don't think there's anything back here. No, there's nothing here. Okay, the only thing is actually with this wall right here. And this will be the last room that we have to go through, but this room will actually involve the most time. Um, and as far as our time goes, we're not bad. We're on day two of six. So, pretty good. I used to never take Prepared Traveler. I never had that, and I would just go with the three days. And three days goes fast, believe it or not. You're pushing it to get through all the stuff I mean we've been doing pretty good but you know I know what I'm doing so when I first started I had no clue and it was just you know constant having to figure out what I was trying to get accomplished and um, I would run out of time then when I saw that you could do prepared traveler and get those three extra days like why not why haven't I been doing that all right so we got another door and I still have things locked in what I do is I just go ahead and I just start clearing first there's all these three to get cleared and then I just go ahead and pull this out because I just want to have everything ready for me to use or ready for me to open up and go through. And then I just speed him up. And I'm going to speed him up through all of it. Because once you've seen him clear one rubble pile, you've seen him do it all. So it's basically the same thing. And we could do this all day long. Now, the more you do this, um, he's going to get finally to where he can do this a lot faster. I think he's getting smelly. Oh, yeah, he's smelly. If I don't watch it, he's going to use his shower in a can, which I really don't want him to do right now. He could. It's not really that big of a deal. But 
I really don't want him to. I just like to open everything up so that I'm able to just do everything at the last minute, just walk through it and be done. Okay, he needs to pull at least one, maybe two more spots, and then I'll feel comfortable about doing it. Let's just do one more spot. All right, now go pull this guy out. You probably could have just pushed him. Now this tomb actually continues, and there is um, there is a way. If you finish this tomb up, you're going to see that there's a way to come out of this thing. There is another uh, side to this, but this is as far as we're going to get. All right, you're good. All right, let's go ahead and let's look inside these guys. And now these would normally be, you know, where you'd be concerned that there might be a mummy, but you won't get a mummy in these. Uh, these are the basic ones. You'll get to know which ones are going to have mummies because you'll see them, and they will definitely show you that. He bought those showers, shower in the cans for a reason. I'm going to let him go ahead and use them. So you just go ahead and use one when you get ready. I'm not going to have you stinking all day. It'll make you miserable. I have no idea. Oh, we got qual low quality dried food. So you can see that's why I didn't buy any of the food because he's going to get a whole bunch of it. Yeah, I turned story progression off. It's still running. I don't know if that's just a glitch that he knows about or not, but it doesn't seem to actually undo it. It just continues to run. All right. Now you can actually collect all the pieces you want and you can make one of these at home. I've done it. There's really nothing that I use them for, but you can. If you get all the pieces, he can put them together when he gets home, and you can have one of these on your lot. You can't buy it unless you go into, I think, buy debug, which is your cheat. Um, but other than that, you really can't. So, and you can sleep in it. I think he can't sleep in it here, but you know he can sleep in one. I guess the one that he makes at home. Um, but the one he makes at home, I think, is a different one. It's a regular sarcophagus with the. Um, I don't know, make, maybe you can make the plain one. I forgot. I usually don't do it because I've done it a couple of times and I'm thought, why? Okay, the lapis lazuli, that's fine, but it's a cut piece. I think we have to find the uncut ones around town. Eventually, and we will. Alright, he's going to need to eat something too. Let's go ahead and eat one of these. It's low quality, but that's fine. We can eat it. Alright, got some money bags. I have no idea how much it's worth. I could look at it now, but I'm not going to. Um... Go ahead and look inside that one, look inside that one. One of these he's going to get sucked into because he always gets sucked into at least one. But so far, nothing. You want to use your shower in a can, which you're about to, and I should have actually locked it in. But I wonder if it actually counts. No, it doesn't. Eat your food, go get these last two done, and we can wrap this thing up. I just always like to be done with the tomb before I wrap up an episode just because... I'll forget where I was and what I was doing, and then I'm just having to sit there and try to figure out, did I get that done or not? I just like to know that I am done, I'm on my way out, or I am um, ready to get a new adventure started. Yeah, so it looks like this will probably be the one that he gets pulled in. He may not, but normally in my games, he'll get pulled into one of the five. I'm kind of thinking that's what's going to happen here. No, yes, maybe. <laughs> Go ahead, buddy. Ooh, nope. I guess not. <laughs> you made a liar out of me. Okay, so we got 603 ancient coins. That's fine. Okay, when you get finished, you can go ahead and report in. And as long as I know you're out of here, we are good to go. All right, he knows which way to go, so you don't have to do anything. You can just um, sit back and let him do it. He'll find his way out. Uh, nice thing, now some of these adventures you won't be able to do that because he'll uh, have to go through dive wells or something and you have to actually really manipulate and show him what to do. But this one's easy. You just hit the button. He knows exactly how to get out of here and go do what he's got to do. If you come back to this, this tomb, I believe the next trip, I don't know if it resets the next day, but I definitely know it resets the next trip. Um, the tomb will be open and all the traps and anything that would be here would actually be, uh, would be sprung. But the treasure would respawn, so you'd get new things. You could come back and you could collect other things. Opening up the chest, you might find one of the collectibles you're looking for. So, you know, if you wanted to do it, you can. I normally don't, because normally by the time I'm finished, I'm ready to move on to the next country and get things going. So, that's just me. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. When we come back, we're going to pick right back up with Stefan. We're going to work on the next world adventure here in China. Um, this one, obviously, I don't think this one counted as his actual adventure. I'll look in his journal real quick just to make sure. Looking under tomb stats, uh, let's just take a look. I think he's still, yep, it's only one that's explored. you got to do this one, but unfortunately, it didn't really count as the tomb 
being fully explored. So did not count towards our six, and like I said, it's going to be a while, so it may take us a few trips until we can actually wrap up China. And then we'll just move on to Egypt and France and hopefully get them all done. All right, guys, so thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.